inside of St. John Arena, a tough place to win. Ohio State has won 26 games straight inside of this storied building. As we take a look at the lineups today, Bill, one major change for Ohio State, Lawrence Funderburk will be starting in place of Jamal Brown. Well, Jamal Brown, unfortunately, was late for a class. Randy Ayers, a disciplinarian, giving Lawrence a chance. And this may be an opportunity for Lawrence Funderburk to start the rest of the year. Great talent, very comfortable under Randy Ayers. Jamal Brown had started 107 consecutive games and was looking to try and get the all-time consecutive game streak held by Herb Williams at and NBA I, fame. I, I got a kick out of Jamal saying to both of us, maybe you can wink at Randy Ayers to put me in very early, but there's the number to watch. 2-2. Two -two. Today's officials, Ed Hightower, Ted Hillary, and Jody Sylvester will call this Big Ten matchup. Iowa split, as I mentioned at the top of the show, with Ohio State. Each team winning on its home court. Iowa knocking Ohio State out of the outright Big Ten championship the last game of the regular season. Although Iowa will undoubtedly start man-to-man, -man, we're going to see a lot of zone. Tom Davis is going to gamble, force the outside shooting of Ohio State. Jimmy Jackson, in particular, they're afraid of. In man-to-man, -man, he can drive, and he's a great post-up player. This way, they put him away from the basket. I'm looking forward to seeing this talent perform. They've got Jimmy Jackson, as Tom Davis well knows, listed at a guard spot, but as Dr. Davis indicated, Jackson can play any place on the floor he wants. Well, if uh, you were coaching, you'd give him the ball, too, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Without a doubt. Because the, the defensive situation, both clubs, full-court pressure on the ball. Iowa would gamble more in the press than Ohio State. Away with Iowa controlling. This is Chris Green handing back to Kevin Smith. Defense by Lawrence Thunderbird, saved by Kevin Smith. Got inside screening and some low post action from Earl. He can get you in foul problems. This is AC Earl. Rebounded by Lawrence Thunderbird, who's fired up playing in front of the hometown fans. the last two yeah. games and starts off wrong here with the traveling I violation. like that though. Don't you hear going to him for that reason? Get him involved. He's on the basketball and they're going deep. James Moses over to Val Barnes and the follow by A.C. Earl. Rebound is strong by Bill Robinson and an over the back foul called on Chris Street. Well, they do not lack for hustlers in this game. Two in particular, Street and Gent will go all out. You'll see Street now on the ball. He will occasionally violate the line. He'll go over the top, very aggressive, and he'll initiate traps. And he's tough on little guys because of that 6'8 size. Mark Baker. This is Chris Gent. Motion and post up. They start man to man. Thunderbird likes to catch and go baseline. Motion offense run by Randy Ayers, Ohio State squad. Everybody's always moving, Bill. Little down screen for Jen, who's improved this outside shot. And he loves the three. Off the iron, here comes the Hawkeyes. Speed personified in Smith. The ability to break down defenses. And occasionally, the baseline. Stepped out of bounds. Smith is lightning quick, and as you mentioned, Bill, likes to slash. Set out the first seven games of the season because of uh, academic difficulties, not so much from an NCAA standpoint, but a school. School rules. And now back, and they're a much better team with him on the floor because of that penetration. Jimmy Jackson tried the behind-the-back pass to Mark Baker. This is where he's tough. Going to the hole because he can shoot well and dish. And a nice pass to Will Robinson, who's fouled. Take your pick as Ted Hillary. The official catches A.C. Earl with the holding foul. Foul number one on A.C. Earl. Robinson still has the breakfast silverware in his hand. We can squeeze that. It's a nice look. You've got to compliment it. And the one thing Jackson said about Thunderbird, I love him because he catches everything. Bill Robinson, 7-foot, 255-pound senior at the free throw line. 
hitting the first. And as I mentioned, did not score in the past two ball games, and that's his first point in this the third game. Now Randy Ayers will go with full court pressure. Jen on the ball. He coached under Gary Williams, who was a disciple of Tom Davis. And that's why you mentioned the similarity. Here's the, the double up and the step in. Nice post. Iowa, nice job of breaking the press. Plenty of time on the shot clock, 40 seconds. I would say that was a quick way to break the press. Moses for three. And a good job by Lawrence Funderburg blocking out Chris Street to keep it alive for Baker. This is Baker to Jet. Blocked nicely by A.C. Earl and the foul by Funderburg. Had a shot altered by A.C. Earl. And Kevin Smith tripped up from behind by Chris Jet. Now Jet will lead for the Big Ten in collisions between himself and the floor does not lack for effort but how about the activity of Funderburg that's what makes them better inside they can't get a body on him because of his foot speed first personal on Chris Jett and as Billy mentioned he leads the team in floor burns a 2 nothing ball game early going here St. John Arena this is A.C. Earl the second leading scorer in the Big Ten Smith Kevin Smith, good two-man basketball with Earl. It sure was, and Earl reposted. And Baker is hammered by Smith, but no foul call. Well, that's the one person I think that could make this an outstanding team. Baker with the ability to push the basketball. lets the players sub. The guys on the floor, the starters, will dictate for him. So it makes it a lot easier to make decisions. But you'll be sure the 12th, 13th, or 14th guys will not step on the floor without getting by him. Cuts down a little walking time along the sidelines for the coach, though, who might be looking for a little TV time. Well, He's not worried about that. Well, it takes out those decisions where you're looking for a guy with bright eyes that's eager. Into the game, Jay Webb, number 42 for Iowa as well as Jamal Brown coming into the game, replacing Chris Gent, who has two personal fouls for Ohio State. Now you mentioned the clubs and what they like to do with the basketball. Both look to this one here with full court fast break, complementing their pressure defense. Pretty good player now, Lusk, good shooter. Got a great start last year, tore up his knee, just getting back in shape. Davis will rotate subs in quite frequently. Jay Webb, Rodell Davis, James Winters, Lusk, Three, and two. Kevin Smith on the floor. Rebounded by Baker and follows. I think Baker may have pulled the string on that jumper, and the press works. And a turnover by Iowa, Ohio State ball. You'll notice in the zone, it's very flat. Iowa contests every inbounds now. They try and steal on baseline, sideline, any point on the floor. This Ohio State ball club, a good one at forcing turnovers. The opposition being forced into 20 turnovers per game. 
Now the zone is going to give up the outside shot. They're going to back in. You see Kevin Smith down to help out at a disadvantage. And a major league advantage with Funderburk in the game for Ohio State. An 8-7 lead, tight ball game, 15-38 left in the first half. And James Winters maybe got away with the push. No, he did not get away. You got it, the low post, the temptation, and he had the smaller Baker on him as well. Not a good foul. Winter's only 6'5", but strong right now. And the Ayers Club leading it by one. The Lexus LS400 has an extremely effective electronic security system. While it may look rather simple to you, a car thief, it looks something like this. You made it through Thanksgiving. You made it through Christmas. You even made it through New Year's Eve. Just when you thought you made it through the holidays, along comes the big game. Uh. Make sure you still have some Alka-Seltzer. I have Denerex on this side. As soon as I put Denerex on my hair, I felt like the itch was going away. The tingle feels like it's taking away the dandruff. Denerex with conditioner is the dandruff shampoo you can feel working. I have no dandruff, and I have no itch. When people gather for the Olympic Winter Games, the simple pleasure of Coca-Cola products is always welcome. And now it could win you a million dollars. Inside specially marked packages of Sprite, Coca-Cola Classic, and Diet Coke with 100% NutraSweet, you'll find a medals and millions game piece. To win, match the complete number any night on CBS coverage of the Olympic Games. 16 nights and 16 one million dollar prizes. Let the games begin. Sweeping changes, there is one certainty. The financial strength of the rock. The prudential rock solid. All pro, MVP, Super Bowl champion, who cares? The one honor these guys all crave is a spot on the 8th annual All Madden team today. It's been the Bill Robinson, Lawrence Funderburg show for the Buckeyes. All eight points scored between these two guys. It's an 8-7. Ohio State lead, 15-31. Left in the first half as you take a look at the front court scoring of Ohio State, the difference right now. And the pressure three-quarter court, a 1-3-1. This is a variation from the mirror image that we projected earlier. The subtle changes that Iowa has versus Ohio State. Jackson looking for his first point of the ball game. Off. And guess who has the rebound? Funderburg, but blocked by A.C. Earl. Third block of the game for Earl, who's averaging three and a half blocks on the season. <laughs> Moses. A.C. doesn't look like that smooth Jimmy Jackson type of player, but he picks up the crumbs. Blocks in the low post. Very effective on the offensive end. Baker. Rebounded after a nice block out by Paul Lusk. This is Troy Skinner. Now he's going to have to light it up a little. He's been struggling with his shooting. Nice drive. And Moses taking it to the hoop and drawing the foul. A.C. Earl, I mentioned, the leading shot blocker in the Big Ten, seventh in the country. Well, he will become the Duke of Earl if he continues to swat away shots like this. And Funderburg trying to use the rim to ward off Earl. Very active. And he does it consistently. Val Barnes back into the game, number 24 Ohio. Make that Iowa replacing Paul Lusk. This is James Moses at the free throw line, a 6'4 senior who plays both the guard and forward positions. And his mom's birthday, Jeanette, so a big game for him to have her looking in. But a guy, I think they're outside shots. It's imperative they're going to open it up for Earl, and he's one of them. He's got to make them. Moses with one of two. He's got three points. Second leading score for the Hawkeyes at 13 a game. It all makes Ohio State tough. Look who's in the middle. Brown and on the wing, they've got Jackson. Not a good look by Funderburg. Not a good 
good pass indeed. Even for a seven-footer, that was too high. Well, the gamble is you've got the you're thinking offense when you've got Funderburk in the backcourt. He can look over people, make the pass. Now you've got Brown and Jackson able to take it to the goal. So the gamble didn't work for Randy Ayers that time. Robinson takes a seat on the bench to get some rest. Tom Randwe, six foot eight inch junior forward into the game, replacing him. Cut by Moses. Oh. Street. Good follow. Strong move by Street. Too strong. Moses with the grab, James. While well, Street, who possesses all the desire you would want. A Street named Desire. <laughs> and he pursues the ball and sometimes gets those nickel dime situations. But here, the harasser, he leads the ball to a corner and then closes the trap. Very active kid, tough to see over him. That foul called on James Moses, first team, first personal foul, fourth team foul for the Hawkeyes. And there's the little guy with the ability to make the decision because they beat the pressure. The three by Jamal Brown. First basket for Brown. They gotta help him out, somebody's gotta get free. Earl with three defenders around him, still gets it off short. Rebounded by Brandewey. Up ahead to Brown. Followed by Funderburg. That will be dubbed Thunderbird. Eventually, he can get him up and down. Barnes. Thunderbird with the rebound. Sir Lawrence has found the home. Randewi. Oh. Funderburg nearly with the follow again. What's he going to be like in a couple of years? Good foot speed, understands the game, and a smile now that he's back home. Mom able to watch him play for the first time in two years. A.C. Earl with this improbable scoop shot from behind the backboard. Look at this step in. Temporarily stolen by Moses of Iowa, back to Ohio State. 13-12, Buckeye lead. Randy Lee. He gives Gent the rest, can make that jumper. The last one was in and out. JB, if you beat the pressure, you gotta make the shots so the press works. Baker. Slicing and banking. A five-point Ohio State lead, 17-12. Here are the numbers again. And Moses. Billy, now, I guess we were expecting a bit of a track meet. Iowa averaging just under 90 points a game. Ohio State, 85 points a game. We've got that pace. Well, both clubs know one of this so well, it's like a practice game. No shot clock violations today, James. First basket of the ball game by Jim Jackson, the Big Ten scoring leader at 24 games. Now the club that's going to win is going to close. That is when you press, get back, and match up. Neither club doing a good job at that right now. Chris Street, Troy Skinner, James Moses, Val Barnes, and A.C. Earl, the five for Iowa. Too hard on the glass for Barnes. He gets his own follow, makes it, and is fouled. Jamal Barnes with the follow. And Jamal Brown fell asleep a little bit, but that's the kind of basketball to expect. Your defense slackens up a bit when you're running up and down. You rest on defense, regardless of what the coaches tell you. And the wholesale substitution by Iowa again. Let's tell you who's in the game. Jay Webb, James Winters, Kevin Smith, Val Barnes, and A.C. Earl, the five on the floor for Iowa. So you always know that Tom Davis worked at a Catholic school. They always had to sell the programs. That's how he started this philosophy up at B.C. <laughs> get them in. Get the concessions going. Sell the By the numbers. <laughs> and Barnes makes it a three-point play. It's a two-point ball game with 11-21 left in the first half. Ohio State on top. Joe Delia wants to be the best at what he does. In this year of the Olympic Games, we applaud that spirit. Joe is postmaster of Squenta, Alaska, and no matter what the weather, he never fails to meet the mail plane. The 750,000 workers of the Postal Service are proud to sponsor the 1992 Olympic Games and share with you the quest to be the best. We deliver for you.
freedom. It's the spirit which moves the Cutlass Supreme, a car intelligently engineered to free your eyes, your hands, your senses. Introducing the new Oldsmobile Cutlass Supreme. The look may change, but the spirit remains the same. Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. You can see the spirit in every smiling face. It's people that make a difference across the U.S.A. Every time we fly, every mile of sky, everything we do, U.S.A. U.S.A. begins with you. We have a new attitude for serving customers. You have to make people feel good about coming into your place. People come in, they want to see a friendly face, so I give them a smile. Prices are low down. Regular hamburger, 59 cents. Sometimes I tell people the price and they say, that's it. Cheeseburger, 69 cents. Sausage biscuit, 79 cents. Breakfast burrito, 99 cents. We are there to perform and to do it right. We want to keep them coming back. That's what it's all about. You could run several large American cities on what the Pentagon wastes in depots like this one. And they can't cut the budget? 60 Minutes, tonight. Lawrence Funderburg playing like a man possessed. 6.7 rebounds, three off the offensive glass. He's a major reason why Ohio State's ahead by two. Well, you saw the smile, his ability to run the floor. He's happy. Back home with his mother, went to Indiana. Christmas Eve decided that it wasn't a place for him. Went a while to St. Catherine, and then came to see Randy Ayers. Randy liked his look as he stepped into the room, looked him in the eye, said, we're going to give you a scholarship. They, he checked with his team. They voted. They won it, Lawrence. He's at home now with an opportunity to really grow as a player and settle down. That's the key for him. And Jackson settling down with the jumper inside the three-point stripe. 21-17, Ohio State. One thing you like about Jim Jackson, does not force things. Didn't come to him early in the going here, but he takes it in the stride like, of the game. Such an unselfish kid. How, they go to zone now, out of the man-to-man. -man, but how about him? He's, I, he played with his dad all the time, and Jimmy said, he doesn't play with me anymore. <laughs> Ego gets in the way now. <laughs> dad can't keep up with me, and he can shoot it. Lust. In and out. Strong rebound by Webb and the follow. Jay Webb, 6'8 forward, a junior with the follow. Getting a little more playing time. 1-3-1 one, one hasn't really been that effective. It's turned into opportunities for Ohio State. 10-12 left in the first half. Tight ball game. Ohio State has hit six of his last seven field goals. Joined only a two-point lead. Uh, J.B. Winters got the point out defensively because he's bigger and can contest that shot. Remember Funkenberg got one on Smith? Well, nice pick by Robinson. Freed up Jim Jackson for that open jumper. And Smith did not come up and reinforce. Real nice offensive play. Robinson a big target to try and work around. And Jamie Skelton illegally trying to keep Kevin Smith from getting around. He picks up his first personal foul. It seems like Randy Ayers and looking at tapes is getting deeper and deeper. Confidence in Skelton, Davis, Randewee you mentioned earlier with the jump shooting ability. All of a sudden he's up to 10 people. Not afraid to sub at all. Speaking of subs, Val Barnes and James Moses back into the lineup for Iowa along with Jay Webb, A.C. Earl, and Kevin Smith. The five on the four for Ohio State. Skelton, Randewee, Robinson, Jamal Brown, and Jim Jackson. A little half court trap. And settling into man -man. And Smith getting by Skelton with no problems. Boy, does he have some nice shake and bake moves? He sure does. Now, the difference compared to earlier in the years, because I watched their Butler game early in the year, he's not able to finish as he gets to the goal because now, according to Bruce Pearl, people are backing off in the Big Ten, seeing if he can make that layup. So he's got to perfect a high kiss shot. Webb back on the bench, and Street back into the lineup. This is Street. Got away with the travel. Not the second time. Chris Street. The Traveling road, violation. The road does strange things. Of course, Chris and Paul Lusk are roommates. The shooter that was in a moment ago. And they go hunting together for turkey. And I said, well, who's the better of the two when it comes to hunting? He said, well, 
I'm his guide, <laughs> which means I get my first. 23-19, Buckeyes on top. Now Moses at the top. Smith has to step up. He's the guy they've been working on. Thunderbird with a jumper, and then earlier that pick for Jackson. Skelton with the three attempt. Size at disadvantage in this zone. Great effort. Against this club, it doesn't matter who is anticipating. But look at the cross-court pass. Smith too small to block. Three big goals because of Kevin Smith's size. Biggest lead of the ball game. And Brown does. It's now a nine point Buckeyes lead. Turnover. Number six. Going for it all on that one. Don't forget, Tom Davis' club struggled here last year. They split. They made a nice run to come back. They can excite with their pressure just like Ohio State is doing right now. Baker back into the lineup for Ohio State. And Smith splitting the press all by himself, one on five. Well, when you need a basket, why not go to AC? See if they can plug him in. Reverse the ball's the key for Iowa. And AC Earl using his mobility to advantage as he works around Bill Robinson, the seven-footer out too high to be effective defensively. And I talked to Chris Jett and Jimmy Jackson about Robinson. I said, he's going to win a game for you guys this year. They said, you know, he's just got to relax. He can help us defensively. He can rebound. And he doesn't have bad low post moves, but he's trying to do it all in a hurry. Winters position ready to come in to replace A.C. Earl. A.C. Earl, four points in the game. As I mentioned, second leading score in the Big Ten, averaging 51 points. Off the back of the iron, and that's the one place he does suffer, only a 59% free throw shooter. And also watch the foul line, James, because Iowa runs plays that make you work hard in practice to defend against. They'll screen, you might see Barnes screening up on street, and he'll go around the back. Moses may go baseline. One of two. See Street in there? Nice little play. Barnes turns, gives number 30, Brown, a screen, and 40 Street goes baseline. And obviously there was a lane violation, which is why Earl has a third attempt, and he makes it. So two of three for A.C. Earl. He's got six points in the ball game as James Winters comes in to replace him. I think I was going to have to chain more chains. Don't gamble on the press. Get back and make Ohio State play a little half court against the zone. Jet, Skelton, Baker, Brown, and Robinson, the five in for Ohio State. Against Smith on that wing, if they can reverse it and cross court, it's going to be tough for him to block a shot or at least contest. Skelton for three. And rebounded by Jet. Stolen by Smith. Ohio State had hit seven consecutive field goals prior to that miss by Skelton. And a temporary score recovered by Smith. Now, Randy Ayer said they're not doing a good job on the dribble penetration assisting. That time they did. There's the reversal. That's what they have to do. Barnes. And you notice the guards for Iowa doing their best to get in the paint field. They're not shooting well from the outside. Well, then when you rotate the ball like that, the defense is moving to the sideline. You can go back to the middle. 28-23, Buckeyes on top, 7.07, left in the half. And a charging foul on Jamie Skelton. Foul number three on Skelton. So Jamie Skelton picks up his third personal foul, eighth foul for the Buckeyes. State Farm presents the rules of the game. Today's topic, block shots in the backboard. 
Is it goaltending when a player blocks a ball after it hits the backboard? Is it goaltending when a player pins the ball against the backboard? State Farm sells life insurance. In fact, we've been there protecting hopes and dreams for families for over 60 years. And we're there for your family today with the life insurance value you're looking for. You see, the cost of State Farm life insurance is among the lowest in the industry. So, you get an outstanding value from a company with a long history of financial stability. Isn't that what you're looking for in a life insurance plan for the people who are counting on you? Oh, yeah. State Farm sells life insurance. The goaltending rules allow a player to touch or pin the ball after it hits the backboard, as long as the ball is on its upward flight and it is not over the rim. This play is legal. Rules of the Game has been sponsored by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Oldsmobile knows that all your roads won't be sunny roads. That's why the all-new Oldsmobile 88 Royale LS offers you advanced traction engineering. The combination of anti-lock brakes, traction control, and road-holding front-wheel drive. The three elements to beat the elements. Oldsmobile, the power of intelligent engineering. Now, get 2.9% APR financing for up to 48 months. I've had my share of sore throats. I just went to the doc with a doozy. Nobody suggested for fastest relief? Poor septic. Doc was right. I could actually feel the pain go away in seconds. More doctors recommend chloroseptic spray for fastest relief because chloroseptic's powerful medicine penetrates nerve endings on contact. I can't prevent a sore throat from ever coming back. But when it does, I don't have to suffer. For fastest relief, doctors say chloroseptic spray. Jim Kelly and the Bills. Mark Rippin and the Skins. Fasten your seatbelts next Sunday, Super Bowl 26. The Bills and Redskins will be looked forward to next week, but coming up next, Villanova and North Carolina, and your good friend Roly Massimino having done a nice job so far. Sure has, beating Georgetown, and then Connecticut, and then Seton Hall, so uh, the pasta flowing. Live here at Sold Out St. John Arena, James Brown along with Bill Raftery, Ohio State and Iowa doing battle. 28-23, Buckeyes on top, 6.59 left in the half. Half-court pressure, Lusk shooter, and back into the zone. Now, this is just like the Iowa zone. You see Gent down to help out. Now he's got to play to point, come all the way out. He personifies effort, by the way, J.B. Next football player who says he loves to hit people, Chris Gent. Sounds like the guy next to me. <laughs> Daintily, though. Ooh. And a nice turnaround by Jay Webb off the bench. Webb averaging only two points a ball game, and he's got just that. We can get it up high enough. Thunderbird can run. Because the other night he had an incident with Damon Bailey where there was a confrontation of sorts. Look at this. Just didn't get it up high enough, but he can run, get behind the zone. And Bailey said he didn't hit me. And Thunderbird said I was just trying to get through a pick. And both felt that it was more made of that than necessary. And I agree. It was too much made. And too many steps this time by Paul Lusk. As a matter of fact, Damon Bailey said he, in fact, he knew that his act went over well in taking that charge from Funderburg. Funderburg knew it was nothing but a clean, aggressive play. Well, Jimmy Jackson, I almost get one here, said to me that Bailey winked at him after the foul call. So he takes it to nice penetration. Baker, good move by Hart Baker. He's the guy, when he steps up, they're pretty darn good. He almost gets one on the inbound. A little too aggressive on the part of Mark Baker after he dropped in his fourth point, picking up his first personal foul. And, J.B., we were told a story about his uncle, who's a reverend in Alabama, Mark Baker, that is, and he listens to his gospel tape before every game. Nothing wrong with that. Now, and this is, this is his uncle's group. It's called Reverend Baker and the Believers. <laughs> I love it. Most appropriate. <laughs> and, Most appropriate. And he will make Ohio State followers a believer and he runs the club. Earl trying to be a believer at the free throw line as he drops in one. You know, we were talking yesterday and watching practice, and I know Mark Wolf had commented specifically. Many people say if you look at Earl's practice habits, you don't think he's a ball player, but he turns it on doing games. Well, I asked him, where did they find out that you could play? He said the Vegas game. Tom looked at him, saw the gangly legs, and how effective as Baker, once again, I believe... No 
Danny Thomas there if he drills that. Go to the post guy. He's got some moves. They got fun. The back in by Earl as Funderburg held his ground, and that's a point that is being observed with more scrutiny. AC Earl picking up his second personal foul, team fifth. 5.42 left in the first half of play. Hawkeyes trailing by six. Jet to inbound. To Funderburg. They've been able to get down, get set, and do a pretty good job. Look at this, that's on a bad three or two now. For Jet, who's improved his stroke. They're punishing with the push. Chris Jet. His first basket and a steal. Great pump. Ooh. Nice pass by Jackson to Funderburg. And he's fouled. You know who enjoyed that play more than anybody? Those strong legs going into their picture to help Funderburg. 2-2. Jackson loves to give it up. We've talked so much about how Jim Jackson is unselfish. And boy, he's loving the fact that he has Lawrence Funderburg now to play with. A guy who can handle the pass. He feels like he's playing with Yogi Berra. He's getting everything, whether it's wild high, wild low. Even the easy ones he's able to complete. That's and in no way knocking the guys who contributed so much last year, Treg Lee and Perry Carter, they just didn't have the hands, especially Carter, that this kid, Lawrence Funderburg, has. Well, you can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about me dropping a glass of water? Well, softness on occasion escapes you, particularly a check done. <laughs> Lawrence Funderburg making a major for Ohio State. Buckeyes on top. 36-26. Funderburg playing in only his fourth game for Ohio State. See, both clubs with the pressure like to force the ball into a man's hand who isn't the best shooter. And when your philosophy is to take that and give you confidence, occasionally it hurts you now. Iowa unable to get Earl in because of that pressure philosophy. And now a 1-2-2 zone by Ohio State. And Jet, look at him up and down. He's got to play the top. Nice step in. And there's a steal by Baker. for the new six cheese pizza with six delicious cheeses. Get one for $7.99 and a second for four bucks more. And don't forget to add your favorite toppings. Call now. In pilot jargon, it's called a walk around. You see them do it before every takeoff of every plane. What you don't see are their qualifications to fly those planes. It takes them years and thousands of hours of experience. And every year they're schooled and tested exceptions. Because when you're a United pilot, you hold a lot more in your hands than just the controls. Come fly the airline that's united with the world. Come fly the friendly skies. Six o'clock Friday night, there's nothing I could... Vacation time! Road trip! Whose car? No, not mine. Oh, you got the four-door. Four-door Tercel. There's only three of us. We'll need the room. Starting at around $8,800, it's Toyota's lowest price four-door sedan. Okay, my car, my rules. Okay. First, no eating in it. Mm -mm. No messing around in the car. Ah. When we get back, you, you both, both help me wash it. <laughs> New four-door Tercel, because your values have changed, but your friends haven't.
I'm Andrea Joyce. Coming up on the Prudential at the Half, Billy Packer will stop by to talk about the Rodney Dangerfield of conferences. On the other side of the world, John McEnroe continues to amaze at the Australian Open. And Willie Galt fails to make the U.S. bobsled team. That and more coming up at halftime. Now back to Columbus. All right, Andrea, back here on the campus of Ohio State University. An 8-0 run by the Buckeyes. Have them out in front, 38-26 over Iowa. 4-31 left in the first half of play. They gotta get Street involved a little bit. Excellent prospect. A couple of early fouls, not in the flow. The zone trying to force the outside shot. Good patience by Iowa. Good defense by Ohio State. This is A.C. Earl. Tough shot. Rebounded by Baker. Stolen by Moses. And Moses with the pump fake and draws the foul from Jim Jackson. First personal foul on a part of Jim Jackson. Now the defense was great. Baker earlier had stolen one here, reacting beautifully, but behind the back in a trap. Not the ideal kind of play, and Jimmy just giving it up at that opportunity. James Moses struggled to find a shooting touch. Known as a pure shooter coming out of high school. Somewhat back on track right now as he drops in the first. I have an ominous note for Iowa and you. Their official scorer is a mortician. I mean, that's uh, sort of an eerie feeling, and uh, right now they are on the ropes. <laughs> they got to get something out of the pressure and be patient on the offense. Gent helping to break the press for Ohio State. 3.54 left in the first half to play. Ohio State. Nice pass work. And the Thunderbolt. And Thunderbolt with that jump hook. Awkward looking, but effective. He hides beautifully understands the game beyond most. Funderburg with 10 first half points, averaging 11 on the season. As I mentioned before, only four games he has played in. How about those numbers there? That explains the run. Yeah, it sure does. Barnes for three. And Val Barnes finds the range from three-point land. Only a 31% shooter from behind the tree land, but he nails that one. Well, both these clubs can spurt on you. So you can't run away. Oh, steps. Brown. Wow. Jamal Brown answers right back, and he's a 48% shooter from three land. Well, Dr. Tom, who's normally docile on the sidelines, threw down his academic garb on that non-walk call. Three by Moses off the mark. The rebound by Funderburg. And Lawrence Funderburg with eight rebounds in the first half. Jackson for three. Strong nice. rebound by Jent. And five. They got a delay of the game now. They're just going to... Don't touch the ball, but a uh, shot of Jen, all-out effort. But Funderburg looked up. They didn't have the quick outlet. And then the long jumper by Jackson, but Jen just gives everything for the alma mater. Continually getting after it. That's what Earl couldn't get. Jet and Brown on the bench. Alex Davis into the game, along with Tom Brandewey for the Buckeyes. Ohio State has great floor coverage because of their ability to get there. They throw a looping pass, they step in, quick to recover. This is a one-man press breaker himself, mm -hmm. Kevin Smith. When they can get it back to him, man to man. Smith, Barnes, Street, A.C. Earl, and James Moses, the five on the floor for the Hawkeyes. Now there's Earl, let him go to work. Hook shot, short. Jackson with the loose ball. Got the numbers. You better be ready. He has that snap wrist. The ball pops in to the receiver. As Jim Jackson checks in with the head coach, Randy Ayers, to see what he wants with 152 left in the first half. He's going to have some big decisions tonight. There's where he's talking about a little baseline. Jimmy, a lot of people are going to talk to him about NBA and coming out. He's going to have some major decisions. Looks like it'll be a lottery pick. His attitude, 
much like yours, a humble individual. Isn't he a pleasant youngster? You need to hear it all the way. Indeed. That foul called on Kevin Smith, sending Jackson to the free throw line, and Jackson. It is really hard to find a flaw in his game, Billy. He's 80% from the free throw land. I mean, he just does it all. Mm -hmm. Well-rounded and attitude. Just an extraordinary. I think Thunderbird can learn a great deal under him. We talk about how he's gotten better over the years as a player. Quantum improvement mm. each year. Early on, he didn't look for his shots much, and that, that's what I think part of the average problem was, but uh, Randy recruited him, and at the end of the year, Randy was the assistant to Gary Williams. Jimmy said, Coach, I made up my mind. And Randy's on the other end of the phone. He said, I'm going to Syracuse. Silence. He said, I'm only kidding. I'm going to Georgetown. <laughs> Silence. And finally, he announced Ohio State. So, Randy, one of the great coups. They backed him in again. And, bro, there's some good real estate, but a little too anxious. Earl told us before the game, with Thunderbird in there, he's going to have to be more concerned about his shot blocking ability and a little too much concern that time. Right on the money. He gets away with the clear out, but because Lawrence will give that cushion, he can come up with the deflections. The 11th turnover of the contest here in the first half for the Hawkeyes. They got a five second draw. Well, Smith just stayed there. Jimmy Jackson looking at Randy Ayers for direction on the play, but they will learn, they will end up calling. Thunderbird, Lawrence of Columbus. Lawrence of Columbus. Oh, it's got a ring to it. A.C. Earl trying to get more in the mix. Only two of seven from the field here in the first half. A little pick and roll. They fill on the box. They try and get straight in the game. Wise. Paul. Oh, he's not been involved. And Street, another one who likes the physical contact. Jackson. Thunderbird. Move, but not a good shot. That was just a, a St. Catherine, Kentucky release. Nice play again here. Defense by Davis. Oh, yes! Fifteen seconds left in the half. They pick and roll now. the first half with the score. Ohio State 49, Iowa 36. We'll return to St. John Arena after this message and a word from your local station. Andrea Joyce will be coming up at halftime. When people gather for the Olympic Winter Games, the simple pleasure of Coca-Cola products is always welcome. And now it could win you a million dollars. Inside specially marked packages of Sprite, Coca-Cola Classic, and Diet Coke with 100% NutraSweet, you'll find a medals and millions game piece. To win, match the complete number any night on CBS coverage of the Olympic Games. 16 nights and 16 one million dollar prizes. Let the games begin. Morning belongs to Speed Stick. It's what more men reach for to prepare, to prevent, to protect. Speed Stick, 110% protection. Speed Stick, 110% protection. America's Kala Urbanski and Rocky Marvel. An unlikely pair. She's a part-time waitress. He owns a trucking company. Together, they've been crowned America's pair's champions. Now, they bring their dream to Albertville in pursuit of Olympic glory. The Olympic Winter Games are coming to CBS. This is CBS. The style you want. The fabric you want. What could be better than made-to-order furniture from Sylvester's Home Furnishings Norwalk Home Fashion Gallery? Choose from the entire Norwalk collection of over 400 styles and 700 fabrics and we'll deliver your choice in just 30 days. We're the special order furniture experts. Design a one-of-a-kind sofa, chair, sectional, love seat, sleep sofa, or recliner and save at Sylvester's Norwalk Home Fashion Gallery.
Sharp Copiers. And Iowa Office Supply. An unbeatable combination. Right now, when you buy a new Sharp Copier from Iowa Office Supply, we'll give you 90 days to make all the copies you want. Then, if you're not completely satisfied, we'll refund your money. Introducing the blockbuster starting lineup of payment plans at Jim Hayden Ford in Osage. At the guards, low monthly payments and leasing. At the forwards, semi-annual and annual payments. At center, cash. Who's always been a crowd pleaser? The team is coached by great deals, assisted by great selection. Our statistics show their service department is coming up another award-winning season. So stop in and see the championship team at Jim Hayden Ford in Osage. Share a moment with the world. CBS Sports presents The Prudential at the Hat. Sponsored by the companies of The Prudential. Come to The Prudential and build your future on the rock. They're at halftime at St. John Arena in Columbus, Ohio State, leading Iowa 49 to 36. We are in the trophy room at the Smith Center on the campus of the University of North Carolina, where later today the Tar Heels will host Villanova. Hi again, everyone. I'm Andrea Joyce. Welcome to the Prudential at the Half. Well, early this morning, when most of us were still sound asleep, John McEnroe was making all kinds of noise down at the Australian Open. A grueling five-set match against 13th seed Emilio Sanchez with court quarterfinals. With the Winter Olympics now less than three weeks away, let's bring you up to date on some winter sports news. The final push-off for the U.S. bobsled team took place this afternoon in Altenburg, Germany. NFL wide receiver Willie Galt did not make the team. Galt finished eighth out of 11 pushers today. We will have a complete report during the halftime of the North Carolina Villanova game. In men's speed skating, Germany's Uwe Jens Mai set a new world record in a 500-meter race in Davos, Switzerland. He beat American Dan Jansen, who had set a world record earlier this year. In Kitzbühel, Austria today, another World Cup slalom victory for Italy's Alberto Tamba. It was Tamba's sixth World Cup win this season. Tamba, of course, the two-time gold medal winner from 1988. Coming up, a busy night in college basketball. We will have highlights and a reminder, we are here at the Dean Dome in North Carolina, where we are surrounded by memories of former Tar Heel stars. Our own star, Billy Packer, also joins us when we come back. constant change, there is one certainty, the financial strength of the rock, the prudential, rock solid. So, what does he have to say? Well, he says, Unc, I'm having trouble landing my double axle. If only you could show me like you used to. Well, the trials are tomorrow. Let's go. When you have to do the impossible, we can help. I'd like this to arrive tomorrow, please. Express me. Thanks. Oh, boy. Almost as good as yours.
at halftime in Columbus, Ohio State with a 13-point lead over the Iowa Hawkeyes. Well, the road to the Final Four keeps uh, many of us up very late on Saturday nights. And just in case you were down or out for the evening, here's a look at some of last night's primetime drama. Bobby Knight took his fifth-ranked Indiana team on the road last night. And with a perfect Big Ten record, these are happy Hoosiers. Damon Bailey with the goes coast to coast for two. 17 points last night for the sophomore. Calbert Chaney had a season-high 26 points to lead the Hoosiers to their 11th straight win. Coach Knight's team was never threatened. Bailey and Chaney teaming up to give the Wildcats fits all night long. Northwestern has now lost 26 consecutive Big Ten games. Indiana, who earlier this week beat Ohio State, is 4-0 in the conference and remains on top in the Big Ten. Lou Carnesecca's Redmen were coming off an embarrassing, low-scoing loss to Miami. Despite shooting 10 for 26, St. John senior Malik Seeley scored 34 points last night to lead the 17th-ranked Redmen past Providence 85-75. Seton Hall has also been struggling in the Big East, but Boston College, on the other hand, is suddenly coming back to life, led by last year's Big East Freshman of the Year, Billy Curley. The Hall's Brian Caver kept it close. He had 13 points, 7 rebounds, and 4 assists. And after losing to Georgetown and Villanova last week, the Pirates were hungry for a victory. This one went down to the wire. Three seconds left on the clock. BC sophomore Jared Abrams' jumper puts the Eagles up by one. Terry DeHare had a chance to win it for the Hall, but his shot hit the rim as the buzzer sounded. Number 21, Seton Hall, continues to slide losing its third straight Big East game. Syracuse has surprised lots of folks in the Big East, and Villanova has come on strong, but Seton Hall is hovering around the bottom of the conference standings. In the potent Big Eight, Colorado was looking for an upset last night. CU freshman Donnie Boyce had 27 points to keep the Buffaloes in the game. But the sixth-ranked Jayhawks are strong. Rex Walters and Alonzo Jamison teamed up to open up a 14-point halftime lead for Kansas, and it looked bad for Colorado. But the Buffs found some help behind James Horton, and CU came storming back. Two seconds left on the clock. Colorado down by two. Billy Law with a chance to tie it at the foul line, but he misses the first one, and Kansas goes on to win by one. So the Jayhawks stay tied for first in the Big 8 with Oklahoma State, the Cowboys, a perfect 16-0, their best start since the 50-51 season. And Kansas is one of five Big 8 teams currently in the top 25, and yet when people talk about strong conferences, they always name the ACC, the Big East, the Big 10, the SEC. Here now to enlighten and enthrall us with all of his insights, our own Billy Packer. What about the Big 8? Are they a little underappreciated? Well, not by the people in that part of the country, for sure. Uh, one of the things that I think is a, a, is a fault there, and it's a fault on all our parts in the, in the major, major media centers of the United States, and including us on television, the fact that the Big 8 does... Big, uh, the uh, uh, Big 8 does not bring to the, the record place uh, major media centers. So therefore, they haven't had the television exposure of some of the other conferences, but they're playing great basketball, have the best record of anybody against a non-conference play so far this year. As you can see right there, 84 and 13, and they have not been playing the Sisters of the Poor. So the Big 8 certainly is going to be well thought of and well heard from this year in the NCAA tournament. Let's move a little further west and talk about the Pac-10. Is this the year that UCLA finally loosens the stranglehold that Arizona has had on the Pac-10? Well, I didn't think that they could win the game in Arizona last week, as uh, some people uh, saw <laughs> here. But I, I think this uh, UCLA club certainly is a very experienced team. It's a very gifted team physically. Don McLean, certainly one of the nation's uh, top players, along with Tracy Murray, gives them great strength on the inside and great shooting ability. Maybe two of the best shooters uh, that have played on the same team in quite some time on the inside. So, yes, UCLA is for real, and, and a Final Four team uh, certainly potential. Who surprised you so far? Are you as surprised as a lot of folks are about Syracuse? Well, certainly I am surprised uh, at Syracuse. Lawrence Moten, their freshman, has been outstanding. It's uh, Luther Wright, maybe uh, not quite so strong for Seton Hall, and that may be the difference between what people expected in the Big East. But what surprised me most, Andrea, in regard to this season are the tremendous swings we're seeing, not only from a standpoint of teams like Villanova, who we have here today, or Notre Dame, you know, swinging to the depths and then coming back in a given day playing so well. 
and also from a standpoint of individual games, like an Indiana at home having a 26-2 run put on them by Ohio State. That's what's making it a great season and going to make for a great NCAA tournament. And make for a great March for sure. March Madness, uh, really mad this time. Thanks a lot, Billy. And Billy, of course, will be here later with Jim Nance for the second half of our college basketball doubleheader, North Carolina and Villanova. And that'll do it for this edition of the Prudential at the Half. We'll be back later. But first, let's send you back to James Brown and Bill Raftery in Columbus after these messages and a word from your local station. The Prudential at the Half was sponsored by The Prudential. Come to the companies of The Prudential and build your future on the rock. You see the... CBS Sports coverage of the Road to the Final Four is sponsored by Geo. Get to know Geo. Available right around the corner at your Chevrolet Geo dealers. Intel, the computer inside. And by Wheaties. Better get your whole grain. Better eat your Wheaties. A roll. <laughs> Where do you go for the most frightening movies on the video? The most sports video. The most action and adventure. Comedy. Just take off for Blockbuster Video. And take home whatever you want. Because we have more movies than anyone in the world. Or anywhere else. No matter how good you feel, you can still benefit from whole grain nutrition. But of these leading cereals, only Wheaties is made with 100% whole grain. So no matter what you're shooting for... Ah, better get your whole grain. I bet eat my Wheaties. This is CBS. Happy New Year! At Shukai Chevrolet, the celebrating has already begun. 1992 marks Shukai Chevrolet's 60th year in the automotive business. That means 60 years of sales and service that has made the name Shukai synonymous with quality. The new 92s are arriving daily, so come in and see for yourself what the celebrating is all about. Test drive a new Chevrolet, Volkswagen, Audi, Isuzu, or Geo. Start your new year early with a 1992 car, truck, or van from Shukai. Since 1932, Shukai Chevrolet. Since the first corn was planted, American farmers have been innovators, looking for a better way to better feed a nation. At Seba Geige Seed Division, our part of that job has been improving the corn itself. Years of innovative thinking have resulted in the most productive 105-day hybrids in our history. Seba Geige Seed Division, breaking new ground. Rasmussen's January clearance means outstanding values on Lazy Boy recliners, sofas, sleepers, reclining sofas, and love seats. A complete Lazy Boy gallery. Norwalk and Mastercraft sofas. Stanley, Cochran, and Kincaid bedroom and dining room. Chromecraft dinettes. We have free delivery, full service, six months, no interest, no payment till July. Rasmussen's January clearance on Highway 18 in Garner. Rasmussen's furniture and carpet, furnishing North Iowa homes since 1950. KIMT, Mason City. Back here for the start of the second half, Ohio State and Iowa. Buckeyes lead it by 13, 49, 36. And Ohio State can certainly thank a very aggressive defense that forced 12 Iowa turnovers. And that's a trademark. Ohio State forcing 20 a game. God, they've been very good at it. Of course, this is the other big item. Ohio State able to convert on sequences that are stimulated not only in the full court but the half court sets and you just got to love Jackson the look away in the finish extraordinary basketball Iowa has to start strong and we have mentioned the last three games that Ohio State was shooting less than 50 percent from the field rectified that in a major way in the first half here and again a lot of credit goes to those 17 points coming off a of fast break and the pressure on the inbounds forcing it to go all the way back 
JB. I just think Iowa's got to get Earl and Street in the game to be effective. A one three one half court trap. AC Earl with only seven points in the first half, averaging 21, and Street with only two points. He's averaging 10 a game. Nice play here. And a nice steal by Kevin Smith. Tenth turnover of the game for Ohio State. Two-man basketball between Earl and Smith. Here's the hook. And immediately, as we said, they go right to A.C. Earl to get him in the ball game. Well, he's got a doctorate. And weren't you always impressed with gentlemen with doctorates? <laughs> you know, Tom's not sleeping over there. But the reset was the key there. Earl posted up, kicked it back, as you said, two-man, and reset his large frame. And that's what's made it so he didn't make that hook earlier. This time on Robinson a little earlier. Bundaberg is looming back there, too. AC misses the field free throw attempt and the official signal Iowa ball well, and Bill Robinson looks forlornly and that foul incidentally uh, against AC was on Bill Robinson mm -hmm. his third Ohio State really noticeably trying to take away dribble penetration giving opportunities for post passes Smith getting by Baker inside the street and street pump face can't get the drop. Oh, they got Robinson James. He's not making those that he's somewhat upset. And of course, Dr. Tom likes to tease him, a high school quarterback. And when he does miss a pass or two, Tom says he must have run the options <laughs> as a quarterback. Well, a nice option that time as he drew the fourth personal foul from Bill mm -hmm. Robinson. Bill just a half a step behind, maybe, huh? That indeed. Jamal Brown in to replace him, so a little bit of quickness, not as much size on the floor for Ohio State. Earl, seven because of Funderburg. And suddenly, Lawrence Funderburg has, in fact, changed the shots of A.C. Earl. Again, one, and a three-two. Gent. He stepped up bigger this year than ever. I mean, he gave you all the little things. Now he's got ability going. His outside shot, the three-pointer, he's able to convert, and even a low post game. Six points for Jen. And Jen is averaging 10 a game. A 51-38 Ohio State lead. Just underway here in the second half. Ohio State 2-1 and one in conference play. Iowa 1-2. Well, Iowa, if they beat the pressure, has to run some good half-court stuff and get the bigger guys involved like Street and Earl. Well, the fans are certainly involved. Moses, nice pump fake, getting Baker up and cans it. James Moses with a nice move. He's got nine. Boy, did he attract Baker airborne. An 11-point Buckeyes lead. Look how patient he is. A lot of shooters would have drilled that one. That's what so nice. many coaches like about Jackson. Doesn't force a thing. Great feel. Here's the pillow. Out jumps the smaller Barnes. Back to a 13-point lead. Largest lead in the game was 16. Look at this hustle. Iowa State comes up with the loose ball from the scramble and is partially blocked. Moses shot. This is Baker. And a foul before the move to the bullet basket. Bud Smith, not a bad giveaway, but how about Jen? I mean, you've got to compliment Ohio State. Loose balls, anything up for grabs, and Randy loves it. I mean, the stimulus, the emotion in the building, and these two guys, I mean, they get a lot of old bologna, dried-out bread sandwiches, but they're not going to step in and get a filet mignon. They give it all up for the institution. Old bologna, dried-out bread? <laughs> I'm thinking of what I get after, you know. My wife has, gets a rash when she goes in the kitchen. And Gent trying to make his move down low. But the foul is on, on Barnes, Val Barnes, his first personal. Great trap situation. Stolen by Iowa, thrown away by Iowa. A fresh 45 for Ohio State. Great luck. Thunderbird. Could 
be a message, Reed Jackson. There's no question it's on its way down. It may not have got in, but maybe Earl will establish some confidence within himself. Well, I'm sure Dr. Tom Davis is hoping that because right now his squad is down by 15 with under 17 to play in the contest. Well, they can get some points, though. And we mentioned quickly, all of them are confident that they get 91 a game. Well, quickly by Smith that time, Kevin Smith. Rebound and follow. What a Can't get the drop. What a snatch. Big time. And one on two. Kevin Smith breaking the trap, attempted the trap by Brown and Baker. And the foul is on Brown. A TD, a legend in a sense. He's stolen from everybody as Randy, in a sense, has stolen now developing his own philosophy with Tom down with fellows at Maryland and then Tom Young, who he spent time with at American U, then Lafayette, D.C., Stanford. He's been a few places, huh? And successful. He's cashed a few checks. That was a second personal foul on Jamal Brown, third team foul for the Buckeyes. Troy Skinner in at the point guard for Iowa. This is Earl. And Earl, will it be called for the pusher? Well, no, great, nope. great. What he did, he establishes and Street with a very catchable pass helps him because as he's moving to the goal, there's no body contact. And Street thinking he can catch and finish, able to get it to him. But all of a sudden, Earl involved. Thunderbird was hoping for the clear out move to no avail. AC Earl at the free throw line. Are, we, are you getting into rules, by the way? <laughs> After oh. the one I blew last week, Ted Hillary out here, and I apologize to Bova, Hillary, and O'Neal for the over and back, which doesn't exist on an inbound. Guys worked hard at the game. And... Well, we couldn't have had a more gracious official than oh. Ted Hillary in acknowledging the apology. But the low post play, they tried to clean up, and that time, Earl. And with AC the Earl dropping both free throws in. Down to an 11-point ball game, 16-14 left in the game. And a foul called against Ohio State. Well, those two guys shouldn't have had a trap, Street and Lusk. I think it's on Lusk. Uh, the roomies. And check that, Billy. That foul is called on Ohio. Make that Iowa. It was on Paul Lusk, right. his first person. Here's the two of them again. And they don't get the man in the middle. It would have been Skinner. Baker. Oh, oh. Dart, two. At 6-1, over top of the trees for the lay-in. Five straight field goals for the Buckeyes. Street upset with, I don't know if they give this to Lon Rodell Davis, who, like Street, struggled in the first half. No points from him, only two from Street. They need him. A little more offense by the inside people, or it's going to be a long ride home for T.D. Davis. I drove literally every car in the same class, and uh, it boiled down to, I wanted a Geostorm. Guys like a girl that knows how to drive a stick. There's 140 horses in here. Can you believe? Hello? Horses. The cockpit's laid out like a jet. You don't have to be a race car driver to drive a storm, but you sure feel like one. Get to know the new 140 horsepower Geostorm GSI. Right around the corner at your Chevrolet Geo dealers. Getting to know you. If this car had wings, it would fly. When people gather for the Olympic Winter Games, the simple pleasure of Coca-Cola products is always welcome. And now it could win you a million dollars. Inside specially marked packages of Sprite, Coca-Cola Classic, and Diet Coke with 100% NutraSweet, you'll find a medals and millions game piece. To win, match the complete number any night on CBS coverage of the Olympic Games. 16 nights and 16 one million dollar prizes. Let the games begin. Service to more cities across the Atlantic than any other U.S. airline, Delta now makes it easier than ever for the people of America to get to know the people of Europe. Buongiorno. Bonjour. Sia. Good dark. Richie. Delta. We love to fly in 
something's waiting inside the powerful 486 SX computer. A technology that will make it even more powerful. We call it Room for the Future. Introducing built-in upgradability. Check into it. From Intel, the computer inside. A visit to the local still is a night to forget. Where's that? What is in here? Hair of dog. Dog hair? All new Northern Exposure, Monday. Fans are packed in here at St. John Arena, hanging over the edges of the court. Ohio State on top by 13, 57, 44. As you take a look at an Iowa squad that's trying to come up with something to stop this Ohio State Express. Well, it's turning into fast break baskets for Ohio State. The press ineffective, but the philosophy of Tom Davis is we'll keep doing it, we'll switch it, change it up, put it in different areas of the floor, but we're going to gnaw away and get something out of it eventually. Instead, the Buckeyes gnawing away and doing a nice job offensively. Now they're not retreating quick enough. Good perimeter passing. Baker. Look at this tap in by Jet. Baker wide open with the dribble penetration. They got the numbers now, James. Two on one. Lusk. Intimidated by Funderburg, but the follow is good. Well, Lusk had him up to the dish to AC Earl. A.C. Earl now with 13 points in the game. Better retreat this trip. So after the silence of a timeout, they will recover. Baker, Brown, Gent, Funderburg, and Jackson five for Ohio State. This is Gent. Off the fingertips of Jay Webb get a return to Ohio State. And near the conclusion of today's game, Bill and I will select a Chevrolet player of the game from each team. Chevrolet donates a $1,000 scholarship to the General Scholarship Fund of each school. 59-46, Buckeyes on top. This is Baker. Look at Jet with the rebound. And follow. Just continual. Non-stop. Pick it up. That's a big play. Webb had his gloves on on that rebound. It would have been Iowa's ball with a chance to counter. Gent at his season's average, 10 points. Not a good one. And back. Moses led Earl to the correct hand, but he just has to put it in a catchable position. Webb and Lusk take a seat. Greg Tubbs into the game. Oh, blocked by Funderburg and blocked by Brown. Tubbs with the charge call. He'll make you think a little bit, J.B. The gnawing effect we just mentioned of the press. They feel they're going to get some. This youngster is active and elevates. Jackson. Ball fake. A.C. Earl with the rebound. This is Troy Skip. Funderburg showing strength, getting Earl out a step or two. Need to get the ball to him quicker, Bill. Yeah, maybe. They're able to push him. And a good move by A.C. Earl, that time not allowing any distance. And he initiates the contact. That's a nice call by the non-call. He goes at the defender. Nice Jackson. play. Skinner. And then the reach over the top by Funderburg. Good alert play by Troy Skinner. Who's the behind the back pass coming. Funderburg whistle for the foul, and indeed he is. So Funderburg picks up his second personal foul. Fifth Buckeye foul, 61-48. Ohio State lead with 13-48 left in the game. As we check the continuing saga of substitution row. They all get in. You tie the, the shoes, get the sweatpants off. Maybe we should have gone to these programs. <laughs> Got a little more time, huh? It's Tom Brandewey and Ricky Dudley come in for Ohio State. Now, Dudley's the kind of a guy that got a violation on the baseline. You cannot walk away. And Randy Ayers helped assist on the call, but I notice every place we go, you look for a guy that could play for the Redskins and have a conversation. Dudley's your guy here. 
Uh, you like built. the frame, huh? Built. <laughs> Strong man. They think he's going to be a major factor here in this program, too. As Randui has a strip, but it's foul. James Moses picks up his second personal foul. Hawkeyes sixth. You know, a crazy thing in the Southwest Conference last night, Texas A&M at Baylor was canceled because of fumes. I wish I had known that. Everybody's fine, by the way. I had rain cancellations. I never thought of fumes. I'm going to save myself a couple of losses. But everybody is fine down there. Someone's going to use an excuse. Use that as an excuse one day. Jackson. I need the baseline and the post-up ability the Gates to pop out to defend him. Jim Jackson with 12 points on the afternoon. That's a 63-48 Ohio State lead, and Barnes is fouled by Mark Baker. NBA style. Put the body up and make sure you release the basketball so you can get two. Drops in the first. An 81% free throw shooter. An honorable mention. All Big Ten last season. Getting only his first point here in the second half at the 13 point mark. Make it two. And JB, he had to play a little point guard. He's more comfortable off the ball for this club. Now they're getting back. You notice they have been getting the dark shirts back. Everybody lingering in the backcourt. Switching in the man-to-man -man on the exchanges. And Brown can't find the range. This is Moses. And Whoa. Moses finds the range. How did he hold up to be soft enough to the kiss? The fingertips. Oh, great control. Down to 11, 63-52. Left in a game. Iowa will hang. 40 exactly is left. Last year, the same kind of a situation. And one of the rare mistakes you'll see Jim Jackson make as he throws it away, thinking Brown was going to be in one spot. And he may have been right. Uh, step to the goal. Uh, Randy will discuss it. I want a little bit of a run. Pretty good basketball left. Bills, Redskins, next Sunday, Super Bowl 26. The world's first dynamo was invented by Werner Siemens in 1866. It began the revolution that brought electricity to everyone. That was then. This is now. The generation, distribution, and control of energy are at the heart of Siemens today. Where you work, live, and play. And with 35,000 people at work nationwide, Siemens is leading the way into the next century. Siemens. Precision thinking. My hands were steady, my eyes were clear and bright. Chevy owners get all the brakes. My walk had purpose, my steps were quick and light. And I held firm to what I felt was right, like a rock. Every 92 Chevy pickup, Astro, Suburban, and Blazer gives you anti-lock brakes standard. Chevrolet, the trucks you can depend on, the trucks that last. Oh, like a rock. This is a commercial for this clever little portable CD player from Magnavox, the inventors of CD technology. I'm sorry, actually, this is a commercial for the ingenious Magnavox 13-inch TV with a built-in VCR. I'm sorry, this is really a commercial for this brilliant 52-inch TV with 100-watt Dolby surround sound. I'm sorry, wrong again. This is supposed to be a commercial for this Magnavox 386 notebook computer. Hang on, we haven't finished. Oh, I'm sorry. The ingenious products from Magnavox. They're smart, very smart. What do you smell? I smell nothing. It's almost like you're working to breathe. For fast relief, try Dristan 12-hour nasal spray. Now smell. Orange, yeah. Tristan nasal spray. Worked very fast. <laughs> Tristan, the face of relief today. What would you say to have Pizza Hut bring you the ultimate cheese pizza? Liberty! The new six cheese pizza. Six delicious cheeses in one pizza. Try one for $7.99. A second's four bucks more. Don't forget to add your favorite toppings. Come on, pizza. The backcourt of the Buckeyes doing the job. A.C. Earl, three of four from the floor in the second half. He's inching up in the scoring category. Funderburg only two points in the second half. 
and the OSU bench a little deceptive there of those 13 points. Jamal Brown has eight, and he normally is a starter. An 11-point Buckeyes lead, 63-52. Good denial, Brandewey and Baker almost caused the turnover. High pick and roll. Inside the street, and oh. street. A uh, foul call before he goes up for the basket. Is it on Brandewey? They call them quick hitters. It may be Brandewey. They ran the pick and roll and street bust to the box. And wide open. It negates the thrust, the foul. But cheap. Well designed play. Chris Gent and Lawrence Funderburg coming in to replace Tom Brandewey and Mark Baker. How about this building? When you walk in, what, the first thing I thought of was, was Lucas and Havlicek and Noel and Roberts and Freddie Taylor watching a high school game. Their coach on a ladder underneath the scoreboard in the corner because he couldn't get a seat or he couldn't see over the crowd. And became his customary seat. Mm -hmm. Third oldest building in the Big Ten behind the arena at Minnesota and Wisconsin. And I figured out why Knight's a good coach. He didn't get in enough. He had to do something. He had to analyze <laughs> sitting there. <laughs> trying to understand the game. Picked up a few tips, I'm sure, from Freddie Taylor. Under double digits, 63-54. Iowa trying to creep back into it. Plenty of time left, 12 minutes. There's the difference. But plenty of offensive firepower left in Jim Jackson. Pick by Dudley. Set that whole play out. But, you know, both programs very similar. We talked about the philosophies, but a couple of the players in Ohio State are not your buck. Jackson being one of them. Thunderbird lingering or looming, I should say. And that's the real difference. Mm -hmm. It's Moses who drops into the basket. James Moses with 13 points in the contest. And it's 65 56. And it's all because Iowa is responding after the initial trap, getting back and getting set. Same play using Dudley. You know who the point guy is now? Mm -hmm. He led the comeback against Indiana as the point guy. Nice look. Thunderbird should have been a little closer. And also should have had his hands ready. He did not. As a result, Iowa ball. And Tom Davis looking on as he's reaching into his bag and tricks to get back into the contest. And a little thing about Tom. Tom Young was the ODU coach, an old friend of mine at Rutgers. Tom, knowing that he wasn't coaching this year, let him scout a basketball game just to keep that bright mind involved. And here's the trap impacting on Smith. The step through, he got called for the walk. Seventeen turnovers for Iowa. And as I mentioned, the Buckeyes forced the opponents into 20 a game. See this set stretches the defense. And look for Jackson on the inbound. Thunderbird. Nice in the paint. Stolen by Smith. Good quick hands by Kevin Smith. And the follow by Moses. Well, it's unfortunate. Street's just a little off his game. And Smith came up empty that time on that delivery. He's got to finish that. Down to a seven-point Buckeyes lead. Nice look. And Brown is hacked as he takes it to the basket. Looks like it's on A.C. Earl. You think they got Earl? I thought Moses came down to help out as well. Just good basketball. You're right on A.C. Third personal on A.C. But they get it to the post and then find people. Ohio State can pick you apart in your half-court defense. Ohio State led by as many as 16. It's down now to seven. I think Jamal will be on top of the class, don't you? After Brandy with certainty from here on out. Yeah. And that's after the Indiana game, folks. They got back late. Plus, and here we go. Seven of, eight. Seven of eight from the free throw line for the Buckeyes, and it's a 66 58 lead. Man a man, nice back cut. Nice strip oh. of Skelton by A.C. Earl. A.C. Earl's got those long arms, which help him to play taller than his 6'10-inch frame as Paul Lust comes in to replace Val Barnes. So it's Paul Lust.
Dusk, A.C. Earl, Chris Street, James Moses, and Troy Skinner, the five defensively for Iowa. See how tough they make it on the inbounds? They cause the turnover. Ohio State working on that lead. Yesterday, you just can't simulate what an opponent like Iowa is going to do. They won't go as hard in practice. Moses for three. Yeah. Well, he keeps parting the cords. They will not be able to press Ohio State. And Iowa keeps coming back as Moses rips a hand across the eyes of Jim Jackson and will be called for the foul. This, Unintentional. Yeah, it was. The scrape, and you see a lot of that in basketball. The quick hands ending up in that vulnerable area. Down to a five-point Ohio State lead. Iowa not giving up, continuing to fight back. Imagine they almost let Ayers go as an assistant tomorrow. What a disaster. Paul Brazo, who was so helpful to both of us, they were both down with Gary. He thought he was going to have the two of them as assistants, and they called back. Les Furtick right alongside him was at Army with Randy. But uh, fortunately for Ohio State and their fortunes, the big fella stayed. Randy Ayers with no previous head coaching experience in his third season here. And boy, is he pleased to have this guy here, the best non-big man player in the Big Ten for sure and probably the country. And Les Furtick next to him. How about Les on Funderburg's dunk at practice yesterday? As soon as he dunked, Les went over and started talking to him. And I, and I said, you know, there's Les. He doesn't touch that in his life. So he didn't like the way Lawrence went up. Maybe it was the way he landed. What frame of reference did he have? <laughs> One of two from the free throw line for Jim Jackson. And it's a six-point Ohio State lead. Well, they try and tighten the screws with the man-to-man -man pressure. You might get a back cut out of this. Earl. Street with the follow. Chris Street drops in the follow-up shot. He's got six and is down to a four-point lead. Uh, Chris really understands the lane. They're able to find spots to be open and offensive rebound. Keep in mind, last season, Iowa knocked out Ohio State out of a outright Big Ten title. Ohio State wound up sharing with Indiana. Tough shot, thrown away, go at him! And a good rebound by Chris Street, and here come the Hawkeyes. Trailing by only four, had been down by as many as 16. A general gamble on the denial, they're liable to get a back cut. See, this, this offense puts pressure on the low post defenders. Earl. And the foul on Funderburg. I maintain A.C. Earl has not been as effective from the field because of Lawrence Funderburg having to change up his shots, but he did draw the foul. Do you know what happened there, J.B.? Funderburg is helping out because the ball is on that side, the strong side. Now, as the penetration occurs, he steps further under, and Earl wisely pins him under the tin. Third personal on Funderburg, eighth team foul on Ohio State is A.C. Earl, a 59% free throw shooter, missing the first. And coming next, Villanova and North Carolina, the talented Tar Heels, taking on the surprising Wildcats of the Big East. Willie Massimino squad, Jim Nance, Billy Packer, and Andrea Joyce will bring you that action. UNC and Dean Smith looked very good against Wake Forest, didn't they? That Second they did. Half. Wow. They step it up a notch. And this is the closest that Iowa has been since the 1916 mark in the first half. Good job by Scout. Recognizing the balance. They can post up on Jackson with Lusk. Skelton for three. Ooh, wasted that opportunity. And Jimmy not real happy. First time we've ever seen him show dismay. Good hands by Mark Baker and an excellent save. Good hands, better hands by Smith. Should have been on the floor by Jackson. And Lust is going to be called for walking. Paul Lust and Iowa had the numbers, couldn't convert the 19th turnover for the Hawkeyes. Thunderbird the great advantage. And it also has helped Iowa because they can get back when they throw to the post guys looking for the inbound passer. There they go. Jackson. Oh. Yeah. 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 
Jackson. Uh, Bruce Pearl, the assistant for Iowa, said they were worried about him posting up when they went man. Oh, blocked by Funderburg. Third block of the game for Lawrence. Wasn't that layup that created this havoc? It was a spike. He could never play beach volleyball. He would have put on the next beach, needed a bag to retrieve it. That was one of the most impressive snapbacks I've seen. The half court. Oh, did that electrify everybody? Iowa had cut it to three. It's now back to eight with 7.20. Left in a game. CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball will continue after this message and a word from your local station. The performance of a Chevrolet is determined by many factors. We consider volumetric efficiency, coefficient of drag, yaw damping, polar moments of inertia, induction velocity, camber, caster, bounce, rebound, thermodynamic load, slip angles, linkage arrangements. <laughs> And at Chevrolet, we also take into account the Yeehaw Factor. The cars more people depend on. That's the Chevrolet. When Wood helps Herman work out. Would you like me to put some weight on that? Will Herman make out? Makes him look a little bit like Kevin Costner, don't you think? Evening Shade, Monday. This is CBS. It'll be getting green here in Iowa a little earlier this year. It's coming January 26th. It's every day, and it's from the Iowa Lottery. Get ready for the long green line. It's coming January 26th. It's every day, and it's from the Iowa Lottery. Hi, I'm Barbara Champney from Minolta. Surprisingly, I'm not here to tell you about this copier. Instead, I'll just let one of its most impressive features speak for itself. Thanks, Barbara. I'm Alan Benning from Mason City Business Systems, your authorized Minolta dealer, which means no one's better trained to help you select the right copier or service it. So give us a call at 424-1935. KIMT, Mason City. CBS Sports coverage of the Road to the Final Four is sponsored by State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. 3M, worldwide sponsor of the 1992 Olympic Games. And by the United States Marine Corps. The few, the proud, the Marines. The flavor and excitement of college basketball here on CBS. Ohio State back in front, 72-64, with 7:20 left in the ball game. And one of the changes that Randy Ayers saw Gary Williams make when he was here was to bring the students down near courtside, let these guys get into the game. And they impact on this game. Uh, incidentally, the mascot's name is Brutus, and with that block at two, Brute, huh? They. A fast-breaking night hit with those types of block, and he's back along. Two on two. Barnes wisely brings it back out. Roy Skinner, Jay Webb, Rodell Davis, A.C. Earl, and Val Barnes, the five on the floor for the Hawkeyes. This is Webb. Inside scoring. They also had Thunderbird away from the hole. And Webb with six points, averaging only two on the season. So he's been productive for Dr. Davis. A little half court trap. Barnes not able to recover. AC Earl with the rebound of the Jamal Brown miss. Eight rebounds for Earl. There's something about conference play, though, JB. Guys know one another, not afraid as Baker gets to 
little shove out deep, and you hate to see that if you're a coach, a little nickel dimer getting your point guard in trouble. But they just don't back off one another. Third personal on Baker, and you hate to see that again, especially when the team is in the penalty. Mm -hmm. Nine team fouls on the Buckeyes. Troy Skinner, a six-foot senior guard, out of Palmer, Iowa. And he finds the range on shot number one. A tough, hard-nosed player who's the son of a basketball coach. Because his shooting has been uh, inept of late, and he's stroking this Lillespie for a little bit. So he can leg it up a little bit, but I think they can get the ball inside right now against the man-to-man -man of Ohio State. Down to a four-point lead. Buckeyes have no difficulty breaking the breast. Once again, the wave of dark shirts recovering. He does break it down. Talk about greatness. Jackson willing to give it up. And Funderburg, aggressive move in and out of the basket. And last <laughs> by Funderburg. And Jen, you don't need a janitor with Jent in the building. <laughs> He'll just accommodate you as best he can. His Home uniform becomes an away one. I was about By the to end say, of the game. what you will need are a bunch of jerseys for this guy, number well, 21. This is in your local bowling alley. Ooh. He does give all he has in pursuit of victory. He's the kind of guy teammates hate to defend in practice. <laughs> that drive you nuts, right? Coach, get him off me. In perfect trap, Funderburg walked away from it. Steal. Attempted, but recovered by Barnes. Five on four. Davis, and Webb goes up for the rebound. There's a foul, Funderburg. And Lawrence Funderburg picks up his fourth personal foul with 5.52 left in the game, and the Buckeyes mercy a four-point lead. Well, what that does, if Randy does yank him, is all of a sudden you can challenge a little bit more after you beat the initial pressure defense. You can go at people. You don't have that fear of the block being thrown back. It makes the little offensive thrust easier. And Bill Robinson replacing Funderburg as Jay Webb misses the first. One of two for Webb. Three-quarter passive pressure. And a three-point ball game. Now, Jimmy's got to step up a little bit now. Without Funderburg, trying to get into their high pick and roll for him on this play. Look at him juke. Nice. And he is not afraid to take it over. Jim Jackson now with 19 points. And again, the Big Ten's leading score at 24 games. Now, Harold Mine, who plays for Raveling at USC, and they beat Ohio State. Harold said, he reminds me of Oscar Robertson. I'm trying to figure out, was he around when Oscar was playing? <laughs> but he, the, the body does. Big, strong, good help on the post. Earl forces it, rebounded by Jackson. And Jackson <laughs> taking control of matters. Nice pass to Baker. Rebounded by Webb. 4.56 left in the game. A 74-69 Buckeyes lead. Earl's just posted up. They're not running the screens. It's been a little tougher for him. Earl shot blocked by the backboard. Gets his own rebound and scores over Robinson. He does keep going after it. And you can see his confidence going against Robinson versus Funderburg. Jackson is fouled. Now, there's a questionable one because he's he goes away from Skinner with the easy eight-footer to penetrate where he almost got the thing rejected, but uh, seldom does he have bad judgment. The last foul called on Troy Skinner, his first. Substitutions for Iowa. Paul Lusk into the game, Chris Street, A.C. Earl, Kevin Smith, and James Moses, the five for Iowa. Keep going to Earl, wouldn't you say? Particularly with... Uh, Sir Lawrence residing on, on Ayers' bench. And Jackson. A rare miss at the free throw line for Jim Jackson. Okay, very competitive crew. Tough one with Michigan. Oh, 
four of six at the charity stripe for Jim Jackson. And it's a four-point Ohio State lead, 430 left in the game. Two bruisers right here. <laughs> Thanks for being Chris Jett. <laughs> Same attitude on the floor. Both ex-football players both love to hit, as they mentioned. There's Earl. They go to him right away. And he connects. Good post pass. Now, at what point do you think Randy Ayers will bring Funderburg back in? Oh, I think he's got time. Depending on the judgments, they can't shoot quickly. Get Jackson into the flow. Good things happen when Jimmy has it. And it's down to a two-point Ohio State lead with under four to play. And he's tough in here. And Jackson is fouled before the shot by Paul Lusk. Lusk just not strong enough for the post move of Jackson. Who is? But he's that very, well, he, you figure as a point guard, he's taking that guy down. As the second guard, he's taking a smaller guy down with not as much strength as well. Who does Jackson remind you of, body style? I like the Oscar comment okay. by Minor. Okay. And of course, Ravling with a great win. George, uh, much older than me, Villanova, <laughs> I used to read about him. Well, some of, the old, some of the old Big Ten fans might recall Ralph Simpson. Oh, yeah, you're, uh, you mentioned the other day at the meeting. Mm -hmm. Michigan State. But George, uh, with a great run, I think they're three and one. Only lost to the conference to Arizona. Boy, very uncharacteristic of Jackson at the free throw line. Second. Five of eight from the free throw line. Only a three-point lead held by Ayers Buckeyes. 3M salutes the Olympic athletes who found a better way. Whose ideas were so original, there's no going back. That same innovative thinking helped us invent Post-it brand notes. And the way you leave messages has never been the same. 3M. Innovation working for you. When you're the best, you can take a few knocks. I go around. I was strong as I could be. I go around. Nothing ever got to me. With the best rust protection, Chevy full size is America's best selling truck. Chevy trucks. I go around. The trucks you can depend on, the trucks that last. Now it's easier to own a Chevy truck. State Farm sells life insurance. And when we start you out with a life insurance plan, our job is just beginning. You see, we're there after you buy the policy, keeping in touch as your life changes. Listening, explaining, answering your questions, helping you keep your life insurance plan up to date as your needs change. State Farm agents are there to start you right, and we're there to keep things right for the people you love. State Farm sells life insurance. Second half of our doubleheader coming your way. North Carolina, Dean Smith and the Tar Heels hosting Roley Massimino and Villanova. And you know, even though Roley has been quite successful over the years, new wardrobe and the like, he's still just as active and sweaty on the sidelines. Well, he is. He's in total disarray by the end of the game. I mean, he looks his normal self, but that's a size game. James Bryson and Mark Dell for Villanova have to play awfully big against that great front line. George Lynch on fire the other night. And of course, Eric Montrose developing as a very tough low post center. And a very good oh. ball game here. A streak Great on ball. the alley-oop. And we're now down to a one-point ball game. 335 left in the contest. Ohio State up 76-75. That's that fake jump shot that people think you're shooting. Nice, well-designed play by TD. Jackson, Baker, Brown. Bill Robinson and Chris Gent, the five for the Buckeyes. And a man with some help. Gent for three. Look at him follow, though. His own rebound. There's a heart goal. 
a bad goal. 12 points for Chris Gent and back to a three-point Buckeyes lead. 2.50 left in the game. Moses double clutches and makes it. And Baker made him change. James Moses had to change his shot. He dropped in his 20th point of the game. He's averaging 13. Back to a one-point lead. Trying to run baseline with Jackson. They go high-low in the post. And then the sneak baseline. Who's the high-low? Jim. Chris Jim. Great look by Jackson. He developed the whole play. He was the choreographer. Trying to get straight in the game. Lost. Walking. Second traveling violation on Lust. 20th turnover of the game for Iowa. Ohio State forces 20 a game. Iowa has 20 turnovers. It's football time. Your ball, Jim Kelly. My turn to hurt. I did it. You can do it. I can deal with pain, Jimmy. My doc says ibuprofen for body pain. The medicine in Nuprin. My trainer, same thing. So Nuprin. Nuprin. Nuprin with Nuprin. Strong stuff. Just takes one. Nuprin. Football's not so rough. At least we wear long pants. For back, joint, or muscle pain. Nuprin. Nuprin. With Nuprin. The body pain medicine. This hand holds two reasons for you to can the leading aerosol deodorant. One, better deodorant protection. Two, a better way to get it. New Shore Pro Pump. Better deodorant protection. More concentrated than an aerosol. And a better way to get it. With pumping power. So more goes where you need it. Not into thin air. That's two powerful reasons to switch to new Pro Pump. But I'm only going to tell you once. For better deodorant protection, can the can. Pump the Pro. Let me just cut in here with news about a pretty exciting non-alcoholic brew. Coors See, it doesn't matter if you're a log cutter or a dog cutter. You're going to love a Coors Cutter. It tastes like beer because it's brewed like beer. Thing is, Cutter's special yeast doesn't produce all that alcohol. So whether you're a stud cutter or a spud cutter, a Coors Cutter goes down smooth and easy as you please. Nothing cuts it like a cutter. Like a rock. Of all the trucks in its class, only Chevy S10 Blazer gives you four-wheel anti-lock brakes standard, which helps you steer through a curve while braking. Without it, you don't have as much control. And why should that be important to you? Because in the real world, safety doesn't have to be an option. Like a rock. Chevy trucks. Stand an arrow straight. The trucks you can depend on. The trucks that last. State's crowd on edge. Buckeyes up by only three. Two timeouts remaining for Iowa. One for Ohio State. Both teams in the bonus situation. And the possession arrow favors make that Iowa. Of course, every time the foul, the two shots. And there's a guy. His, he was telling me today his dad, they're from Sparta, New Jersey, now has Ohio as his area. Isn't that convenient? But he is home watching on the two. His son has performed beautifully. And Lawrence Funderburk is back in the game, having replaced Bill Robinson. 140 left in the game. Well, good things happen when Jackson either finalizes or leads to the finalization. Baker off the pick and scores. Good pick by Funderburk, opening up for the easy jumper. Well, there's your answer, Randy, not waiting any longer. A five-point lead streak for two. Funderburg with the rebound. Lawrence Funderburg, 12 rebounds in the afternoon to go along with 12 points. Iowa now in a gambling type of situation. Trying to play heads up, trying to deny, and the penetration and kick is the concern. 
three perimeter guys can drive to the goal and find people. Baker Brown, and of course the All-American Jackson. Give a lot of credit to that guy, Chris Jett for sparking Ohio State as Jackson loses the ball but recovered by Brown. Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Stolen by Smith. In a hurry. And Smith scores and is down to a three-point ball game with 33 seconds left. How about the trap at half court? They don't sit back and let you beat them. Good aggressive basketball leading to that step in by Smith with the finish. <laughs> I said in one of my books that peculiar travel suggestions were dancing lessons from God. So when the poet George Starbuck asked me to come teach in the writer's workshop, I went. And I found out what it was like to be really wide awake to the world and my own imagination. I was never a student, but I am a graduate of the University of Iowa. From all the states in more than 100 countries, they come to Ohio State. They come to study in nearly every conceivable academic area. More than 7,000 courses in more than 200 majors. They come for world-class research, a vibrant arts community, and the nation's largest recreation and intramural sports program for the education, the experience, the excellence, the Ohio State University. With 33 seconds left in the ball game, and Ohio State on top by three, each team with one timeout remaining. Both teams again in the bonus and the possession arrow, still Iowa. Now, if you were playing coach here, who would you foul? Well, they've been lobbied to Funderburk, and not that he's a bad free throw shooter, but at 71, you want to steal or stop the clock. Steal first, and then stop it. Of course, Baker down to 63, and Robinson, who's not in, a little bit lower, 57. Step in. And a steal by Barnes, and Barnes tries to call a timeout while in the air. Great High try. says, no, I'm not buying it. Great try, but good thinking on Well, it sure two. was. And Ed saying that the ball was loose when he tried to timeout, but an incredible effort and heads up. Now, watch the long home run. Nobody back. Randy Ayer is trying to direct his squad, but Kevin Smith of Iowa recognizes what's being attempted as well. Tom wants more time put on the clock. I saw him put up three fingers. And you notice him going at it. Both coaches into the heat of the action here. Well, Randy said, I know I have some of your philosophy, but I'm not taking any of your heat. I'm a competitor. <laughs> uh, Tom, he's still Tom, Tom's point is well taken. He says, hey, wait a minute, but three seconds? Mm -hmm. uh, don't forget, Baker and Thunderbird, you might see a hit and go. And, and the quarterback in Gent being tested. No. And again, Davis has complained about three seconds having been nice shot taken here. off of the clock as we get a foul here with 27.4 seconds remaining in the contest. And now with Baker and Rounds, not one of the premier free throw shooters, but the chance now for the offense to be conscious of his inability and also the defense with all four they've got a squeeze and you'll see smith joining in to take the shooter and specifically baker at the free throw line on the year a 61 percent free throw shooter and don't forget game two coming your way villanova and north carolina with Ohio State leading by only three, 27.4 seconds remaining. And makes the second, 12 of 17 from the line for Ohio State. Makes it a two-trip game. Nice, nice pass to Earl. Earl! Gets the foul. With 17.1 seconds remaining, oh. and Iowa burns off his last timeout, a two-point ball game still. From the director of JFK. I want to go to Vietnam, and I'll die there if I have to. Tom Cruise is Ron Kovic. You will never 
walk again. In Academy Award winner Oliver Stone's epic struggle. I just want to be treated like a human being. For the first time on any television. Born on the 4th of July, Tuesday. Wednesday, Dwight brings home a dream day. Please don't blow this for me. For a good impression. Would you lie down on a plaster of Paris and kind of make a mold? All new Davis rules Wednesday. A concern, 13,276 on hand as Ohio State nursing only a two-point lead. The Hawkeyes have burned off their last timeout. The Buckeyes with one remaining with 17.1 seconds. And Coach Raftery, the strategy here. Well, I had the Villanova Seton Hall game, and Rolly Massimino, we're going to see them later with Carolina, lent in the game, and that's what Tom Davis is trying to do now. I think they'll go for the steal and the foul. It'll be, I'll be, I think Ohio State will have to lob the Thunderbird. They'll try and deny all the wing passes and loop to him, and I would give it to him right away if you cannot steal it. But the idea is to keep the clock from running. And the possession arrow, keep in mind, still favoring Iowa. Baker, Jackson, Brown, Gent, and Funderburk, the five on the floor for Ohio State. Uh, Jenk can run the floor, and everybody up there open for a long pass if it shows. And they get it to Jackson. That's the right guy. Two-man basketball with mm -hmm. Jeff and Jackson and a foul. Street, great move by Randy. All right, you know what they're going to do. You've got a counter, and they just let Jackson and Jeff, 80 percent shooters touch the basketball pretty wise move good move mm -hmm. with 11.8 seconds remaining chris jett takes a trip to the free throw line he's got 14 points on the afternoon averaging 10 and as bill mentioned most important here an 80 percent free throw shooter oh oh he throws it up <laughs> with a relaxed Listen look on his face Checks not so with tom davis uh, a push and a giveaway. That's what they have to think of. I will get it up as quick as they can, depending on this. Oh. Makes it a four-point lead. A two-trip game. Smith. They don't have to take it out if it goes in now. And Earl losing it with under three to play. Close and Ohio State wins the close one, 85. 81 over Iowa. Tom Davis was trying to pick up a victory in his 600th basketball game. Falls by four to Randy Ayers and Ohio State. The Chevrolet players of the game are from Iowa, A.C. Earl, and from Ohio State, Jim Jackson. A check in the amount of $1,000 will be donated to each college's general scholarship fund to further assist qualified students in all chosen academic fields. So for Bill Raftery, I'm James Brown saying so long from St. John Arena for the final score, Ohio State 85, Iowa 81. Next is game two of our doubleheader as the Villanova Wildcats face the North Carolina Tar Heels. Then it's the eighth annual All-Madden team, John Madden and the NFL All-Stars. Thanks for watching Iowa Hawkeye Basketball on KIMT. Brought to you in part by these proud sponsors. Sylvester's Home Furnishings, Mason City Business Systems, Shook Eye Chevrolet, Iowa Office Supply, Jim Hayden Ford, High V, Iowa Lottery, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and the Hawkeye Gold Club.